at first glance you might not realize that this is in fact a shelter um, this is a, a termite mound here in New England New South Wales uh, termites have their place in a forest cleaning it up um, but sometimes these mounds they get burnt out Now the, the hole in here, the doorway, was not this large. Um, but there have been uh, animals using this as a shelter and uh, have been a little clumsy in, in getting out of the shelter. They've, uh, they've knocked it out and made it even larger. But it's still a reasonable shelter. Uh, you could also light a fire in here and camp in front of it to give you a, a good area for containing a fire. This is the chimney. If you ever need to burn one of these out, you need to drive a hole down through the top, down to the bottom, and then take another hole from the from the side to meet this one so you've got like an l-shaped tunnel if you like and if you light a fire in it it'll draw up through this this vertical hole and it will burn the whole of the inside out and leave it hollow this is uh, this is easily blocked up by putting some bark over the top of it afterwards to uh, to keep it waterproof Here you can see there's been an echidna digging out an ant's nest. You see this around then you know you've got echidnas around. Interestingly the uh, natives here in Australia very often call the echidna a uh, porcupine. Here we've got a grass tree. See the dry flower spike? And uh, here we've got some green ones as well. These are not in full flower yet. When they are in full flower, you can uh, you can either suck the nectar out of the flowers or you can uh, put them in a drink just put them in water and make yourself a flavoured drink the aboriginals actually ferment this for uh, to make an alcohol drink sometimes stems can be used for spear extensions by fitting hardwood tips into these some of them grow very straight you can also use this stem for uh, the fire bow and of course the uh, the hand drill fire making process These, uh, the leaves can be pulled out and the white ends can be eaten on these. You won't get a lot out of them, but uh, then again there's a lot of leaves. Down here you can see the foliage is very dry. Same grass tree. Makes excellent kindling. This is a mountain gum. They, uh, they're a ribbon bark, as is the manna gum. The manna gum, you can actually uh, eat the gum out of the tree, but this mountain gum, the, uh, 
the sap doesn't taste so good. But you can see that it sheds its bark at the bottom. There's usually a lot of this laying around and this makes excellent, uh, excellent kindling. Here's a good example of a widow maker. This one seems to be uh, hanging on tenaciously, but sooner or later it's going to give way and it's going to come down. So you want to make sure you do not build your shelter under something like this. Always look up in the trees before you set up camp. If you're in need of a quick shelter, uh, these fallen trees are always worth checking out. Not a lot of room, but you can certainly crawl up in there if you want to. I've done it. Animals, other animals have been using this for shelter too. This is the foliage of a wattle. I believe this one is a black wattle. I, uh, I don't make it my business or my ambition to learn the names of everything around me. Um, but I do happen to know that this is a wattle. Uh, what is more interesting to me is the fact that I know if I can use a particular plant for something uh, or if a particular bird is edible or not edible uh, that's the interest I have. Now the wattle can be used to make bows If you've got a, uh, a large mature tree then it can be split down to make several bows or you can use a limb of a small one like this to make a survival bow um, in which case you don't really need to do anything but put uh, the, cut it to length, put notches in it, make yourself some cordage and string it up and away you go. I made one of these ages ago and uh, I've still got it up in the old cottage. Um, these are very uh, very springy and also good for making uh, spring traps. Again, trees like these are always worth checking out if you're looking for shelter. Big old stag. Around the other side. Quite a lot of room in here actually. I've camped down in smaller hollow trees than this. This is uh, pretty good. Nice dry floor, excellent.